Okay, we're going to use this video to give you an up-close look at this small, uh, finely carved, black forest spring-driven cuckoo clock. And uh, this is a beautiful example of a carved cuckoo uh, made at the end of the 19th century. And uh, the carving style follows the pattern uh, model 322 made by Johann Baptist Biha. Now this particular clock is unsigned, so we're not able to attribute a maker. Uh, but it's a high quality clock. You can see the detail work in the carving uh, is exquisite. Nice uh, carving in the center of the dial. The clock retains its original numerals, the original bone grommets, and the original bone hands. Uh, nice ribbon work with the oak leaf and acorn. Beautiful oak leaf pendulum with the twisting vines on the bottom. And the uh, bob is mounted to a rod of alternating steel and brass rods. All the carvings are done in walnut and the case is veneered in oak. So it's a nice two-tone oak and walnut case. Uh, the movement is a high quality brass plate cast movement with thick plates. And it's powered by springs. And an unusual feature about this movement, the movement plates have been nickel plated. Uh, and that is original, leaving the levers and wheels brass. And so it makes a real nice two-tone finish. Uh, presumably the nickel plating uh, protected the movement uh, from oxidation. Anyway, it's just a beautiful example of a cuckoo clock. The clock retains its original bellows, original pipes, nice plump. A uh, wood cuckoo bird on a wood perch. And the clock just has a wonderful sound. We'll set it off so you can hear it. Nice slow cuckoo call. Uh, we specialize in the acquisition of rare and unusual black forest clocks. We're always looking to acquire uh, examples for our own private collection and also for clients worldwide. So if you have a clock that you're interested in selling or if you're looking to acquire a clock, you can contact me through my website, which is blackforestclocks.org or you can email me directly at justin at blackforestclocks.org.